As a small aside, as you're talking about the biology, let me comment that I spent, this is what I do. This is what I do with my life. This is why I will never accomplish anything, is I spent much of the morning trying to calc trying to do, do research on how many computations the brain performs and how many um, how much energy it uses versus the state of the art CPUs and GPUs uh, arriving at uh, about 20 quadrillion so that's 2 to the 10 to the 16 computations so synaptic firings per second that the brain does and uh, that's about a million times faster than the uh, uh, the let's say the twenty thread state of the art Intel CPU the the tenth generation, and then there's similar calculation for the for the uh, for the GPU and all ended up also trying to compute that it takes ten watts to run the brain about, and then what does that mean in terms of calories per day kilocalories? That's about two for an average uh, human brain. That's 250 to 300 calories a day. And uh, so it ended up being uh, a calculation where you're doing about uh, 20 quadrillion calculations uh, that, that are fueled by something like, depending on your diet, three bananas. So three bananas results in a, in a computation that's about a million times more powerful than uh, the current state of the art computers. Now let's take that one step further. There's some assumptions built in there. The assumption is that, one, what the brain is doing is just computation. Two, the, the relevant computations are synaptic firings, and that there's nothing other than synaptic firings that we have to, to factor. So um, I'm forgetting his name right now. There's a very uh, uh, famous neuroscientist at Stanford just passed away recently who did a lot of the pioneering work on glial cells and showed that um, his assessment glial cells did a huge amount of the thinking, not just neurons. And it opened up this entirely different field of like what the brain is and what consciousness is. You look at Damasio's work on embodied cognition and how much of what we would consider consciousness or feeling is happening outside of the nervous system completely, happening in endocrine process involving lots of other cells and signal communication. Uh, you talk to somebody like Penrose who you've had on the show, and even though the Penrose Hammerhoff conjecture is probably not right, is there something like that that might be the case where we're actually having to look at stuff happening at the level of quantum computation and microtubules? I'm not arguing for any of those. I'm arguing that we don't know how big the unknown unknown set is. Well, at the very least, this is this has become like an infomercial for the human brain. At the very but wait, there's more. <laughs> At the very least, the three bananas <laughs> buys you a million times. At the very power, least, at the very That's least, impressive. <laughs> and then you could have, uh, so, and, and then the synaptic firings we're referring to is strictly the electrical signals. That could be the mechanical transmission of information. Like there's chemical transmission of information. There's there's all kinds of other stuff going on. And then there's memory that's built in. That's also all tied in. Not to mention which I'm learning more and more about, it's not just about the uh, the neurons. It's also about the immune system that's somehow helping with the computation. So it's the entirety and the entire body is helping with the computation. So the three bananas. It could buy you a lot. It could buy you a lot. 